Hey guys, Sports Game Fever here, back again. And if you saw the title of this episode, I guess you would probably guess, um, I guess you'll probably guess, um, that this is the last episode of the Minnesota BGM Wild Series, most likely. Um, because I figured out I will not be able to finish it because we're in 2017, I believe, and, uh, that means that in the GM would end in like 2020 something, uh, because we're doing 10 years and starting the 2012 season, so that'd be like 2022 or something. And we're only in 2017, which is uh, kind of weird. I thought we were further progressed, but uh, school starts Wednesday. This being recorded on Friday, August 24th, so Wednesday. Uh, school's coming back, and I'll be busy with that. And then comes my birthday, so obviously my birthday is September 1st. Um, so obviously there's some stuff I'm going to have to do. Well, not have to do that. I want to do with that. And then it's, you know, right back to school, and then NHL 13 comes out September 11th. So uh, I really won't have a chance to finish the series, so I'm pretty much just cutting it off here because... I kind of lost a bit of interest, obviously, the past month, and then I was like, ooh, maybe I can jump back into it and finish it, but I looked, and, you know, we have five more seasons to get through, and I probably won't be able to finish it, but I guess this is um, kind of reflecting on the on the series kind of video, and I want to know what, how you guys thought I did with Minnesota. Minnesota uh, it's always been one of my, like, top teams. Obviously, the Bruins are my favorite because they're my hometown team. And I've loved them since the first game I went to when I was probably like three or four. Um, but Minnesota Wild is like, not just because of this series, but I guess this kind of contributed. They are one of my, my probably second favorite team in the NHL. Uh, they kind of were before. I, I did like them before. And this kind of uh, made me like them even more. Got, let me get used to their roster and then change it around and stuff, which always happens. But... Um, please leave in the comments how you think I did in some trade, your favorite moments, probably some of your favorite trades, um, what I could have done better, some players I should have gone for. I know there were suggestions all throughout the series of players I should have traded for, but I didn't. And then there was uh, some comments on trades I should have accepted or trades I should have rejected and stuff like that. So please let me know what you guys think overall. Get, kind of give me like a, a rating A plus through F. Um, so, yeah. Also, time to start thinking of what team I'm going to do. That's right. I'm going to be in NHL 13. I'm going to be doing another BGM mode, and hopefully a couple, actually. So, it's time to start thinking what team I'm going to be. Um, I was actually thinking, and obviously, you guys are going to contribute to who you want to see. I'm not doing Minnesota again. I'm doing a different team. Sorry, so I don't really want any suggestions on Minnesota. Because I will not be the. Maybe I'll incorporate Minnesota in another way, some way or another, into a uh, game mode there. But um, I am doing GM Connected with my friends, um, and I'm also doing club and stuff. But I will fit in some be a GM mode single player, and I will be doing a series about that. Some team, one team I was thinking of was the Florida Panthers because I haven't really seen much from them lately, and it'd be cool to try to turn them around and bring them back to the Stanley Cup. I know. I actually just learned that they were in the Stanley Cup in 1996 against Colorado because I was just flipping through the channels and I went to NHL Network and they were facing Colorado. Um, I'm pretty sure they got sweeped. I'm not sure because it was, it was game four and uh, Colorado was winning 3 nothing in the series. But I had not known that they made it to the Stanley Cup before, so that was cool. It was actually while Ed Jovanovsky, Jov I can't pronounce it. I know, I know how it's pronounced, I just can't. Jovanovsky. Yeah, I can't pronounce it. I know how it's pronounced because I heard it like I've heard it a hundred times before, but I can't pronounce it. But um, he was a rookie that year, which was cool to see, and Sackick and stuff. I only watched like five minutes of it, but um, they could be a decent team to do because they don't really have anything going for them right now, and it'd be cool. I guess they do have a young goaltender in the minors, but other than that, they don't really have anything going for them. So that could be really cool to play as. Also, Dallas Stars. I was thinking of. Uh, you know, but you guys should you guys should suggest any team that you would want me to be, and I will uh, kind of tally up the votes. Those will definitely contribute because if I say I want to do Florida, they're probably my number team one team right now. But if I get like no one wants to do Florida, and a lot of people want to do another team, 
like the same other team, then I'll probably do that. Um, but yeah, so please leave comments on what you think I should, what team I, you think I should be. And I am definitely, the next series, <clears throat> I am planning to probably have you guys way more involved. Because I do get comments and like, oh, you should do this, oh, you should do this. And I really only took like probably like two or three suggestions because I put these videos out rapid fire. But the cool thing will probably be is that with me having GM connected to do and me having club to do. I mean, I had club this year in NHL 12. But whenever I wanted to play BGM mode, I always just hopped into Minnesota and started recording and stuff. But I guess next year I'll have GM connected. I have my friends league. We probably have like 10 teams in it right now. Um, not opening that up to a bunch of subscribers right now. Um, I did open it up to like one or two long time subscribers. I think actually three long time subscribers because they've been there since like for months and stuff and have I've seen comments on a lot of my videos and they're always like messaging me good job on the videos and stuff so that's why I let them in um, and I'm still thinking about doing probably GM connected with subscribers but that is still undetermined I could still do that and I could also let some more subscribers into this league but I'm not sure about that yet because I have other friends like that, uh, that are inviting their friends and so I want to make sure there's enough spaces for them but with that, I'll be able to hop into that instead of doing GM Connect, regular GM mode and stuff. Uh, and you guys will get to be more involved. So I guess that's it, guys. Uh, let me know what team you want me to be. And let me know how I did on this Minnesota Wild be a GM mode. See you guys later.